How's it going guys and girls? Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, all that good stuff. Hope you guys have had a great Christmas holidays. Um, so I'm back, sorry I've been a little bit inactive over the last week, but you know, family, Christmas. So um, this is really kind of, these next few videos are really my reflection on 2012. So I'm gonna kick it off today and I'm gonna start with the my top five games in 2014. So so of course this is completely subjective guys and uh, this is my top five list um, you might agree you might disagree that's totally fine um, just to let you guys know as well I obviously I don't own an Xbox one unfortunately I can't afford to have more than one next-gen console at the moment I just don't have the money for it so I don't have an Xbox one so unfortunately there aren't any Xbox one titles in this list because if I haven't played the games they're not going to be on my list um, so let's get cracking anyway so these are my top five games in 2015 number five Mario Kart 8. Um, this, for me this year, was the best racing game in 2014. Um, it was brilliant. Um, to, be, to be fair, I was a little bit bored of the Mario Kart series. I felt like it, it lacked imagination, it lacked innovation. However, I will say that Mario Kart 8 was a blast to play and I really enjoyed it. With over, over 30 playable characters, even more now thanks to DLC, so many different levels. Uh, this game has so much replay value. It's a great multiplayer game. Um, and the new addition of anti-grab just makes this game really, really fun, really, really enjoyable. Best driving game for me of 2014 easily. You and I are gonna tear shit up! Number four, Far Cry 4. Now this one was a tough one for me guys this year because um, Far Cry 4 was an amazing game. Um, that goes without saying. Um, I will admit however that I'm not a massive, massive fan of the first person shooter genre. I have played all the most of the first person shooters that came out this year. Um, like Destiny, um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. For me, this year, Far Cry 4 was the best first-person shooter game that came out in 2014, and that is why it makes my list. This game was fantastic. The main villain in this game is brilliant, Pagan Min, voiced by Troy Baker. He is a, a, a character that you just love to hate. Um, the main character of AJ, while not entirely interesting character, was still really 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 fun um, the effects that your choices had on um, Kirat were enjoyable the gameplay is what made this game for me um, the actual gameplay was brilliant in Far Cry 4 it was so smooth the guns the weapons the ability to hunt animals in the wild the ability to actually use those animals strategically when taking out bases even the ability to ride um, an elephant was just awesome Awesome. and co-op play on this game is heaps of fun too so Far Cry 4 for me was the best first person shooter that came out in 2014 and it is number four on my list number three alien isolation this game for me this year was the biggest shocker of 2014. Now anybody that knows me knows that I'm not a massive um, horror fan. I, I don't really enjoy watching horror movies, playing horror genre games. I do like the occasional zombie game, but it's not really my cup of tea. So my um, boyfriend dared me to play this game and I'm really glad that he did because we played it together and I had such a such a blast playing it. Um, the alien in this game is fantastic. The AI is amazing. The whole way you're playing through the game, you just feel like you're on tenterhooks. You feel vulnerable. You feel uh, like you're being hunted. And it's really, really intense game. And it's a lot of fun. And I don't usually enjoy being scared and shocked, but I actually got a kick out of it 
at playing this game. Um, the recreation of the the uh, the original Nostradamus, um, the recreation of you know the first Alien game and and the the areas so faithful and so good. There were just so many little references and things to fans of the Alien franchise, which you could tell that there was a lot of love and care that went into this game and that is why Alien Isolation is number three on my list. It was a blast to play and I really enjoyed it. Kill the blue demon! The monster of man! Drown the air with Uru cries and the earth with Uru blood! Number two, Shadow of Mordor. Now this game for me was the most I'd say the most underrated game in 2014. There wasn't that much hype and, and advertising surrounding it, to be fair. Um, but this game was fantastic. It was Assassin's Creed meets Batman. The combat system was fantastic. Fantastic. The counters, the finishing moves, the, the parkour in this game was really, really fun. The ability to ride, you know, animals and take down orcs. And it was just, it was just a blast to play. Um, the main thing that made this game so enjoyable was just how rich the world was and, and the Lord of the Rings lore that was available within that game. It was so interesting to see it from a different perspective. Um, you could tell that the makers of this game were just big fans of Tolkien um, and love his universe and love his world and you could really tell that. The the nemesis system in Shadow of Mordor 2 was fantastic. It was really good. It made every playthrough unique and different. Um, you, you, you know, you really felt that you developed this kind of a history with these orcs and Urukai Uruk that you took out um, or that killed you and you had these ri rivalries and, and uh, you know, nemesis around and it's just brilliant. It was just really really fun there was so much character in the villains there was so much character in the enemies um the side missions were, were a blast to play as well just running around uh, mordor just taking on orcs was just heaps and heaps of fun you could put hours and hours and hours into this game and not get bored that is why shadow of mordor is number two on my list <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a nice home. <laughs> Number one in my list, the best game in 2014 for me, without a doubt, is Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, this was the, the ultimate game this year for me. Now, any of you know, I'm a huge, huge fan of Bioware. I love Bioware, love Dragon Age games. Big, big, big fan. Um, Played all the Mass Effects, played the the original Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age 2. Check out my story so far videos if you want. You guys will see how much I love these games. Um, but I was so excited when Dragon Age Inquisition came out. And I will say that Dragon Age Inquisition did not disappoint. The story is fantastic. You get to see new characters, returning characters, you know, some of your favorite characters are make cameos and come back. The actual classes had been ramped and new specializations, which are really, really fun. The combat, your your team, um, the story, the world, the open open exploration. It's just heaps and heaps of fun. There is so much play value in this game. Um, you could easily dedicate 100 plus hours to this game. Um, easy, probably more, 150 hours if you wanna do everything. There is so much value and content in this game. It is fantastic. The worlds are absolutely stunning. They're beautiful. The One of the best parts of this game as well with the dragon fights. The dragon fights were fun, challenging, enjoyable, difficult as hell some of them but damn did it feel good when you actually got killed the dragon and um, it was just a brilliant brilliant um, game it's such a good game and the, the effects your choices that you make affect the story so there's just so much replay value in Dragon Age Inquisition it's the best RPG that's come out this year easily by a mile um it's gonna take a lot i think to beat dragon age inquisition possibly the witcher 3 might possibly be a contender to do that but for me dragon age inquisition was the best game that came out in 2014 easily 
All right, so those are is my top five uh, video games of 2014. So what are your top five video games that came out this year? Obviously, this is my opinion. It's completely a subject subjective. This is just what I thought. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'll be back again with some more videos um, at the start of this year. I've got one more video, um, which is a reflection of 2014, which is basically what I thought the most disappointing games of this year were. Um, and then in the new year, I'm going to be telling you guys what my most anticipated games are that are going to be coming out in 2015. All right, guys and girls. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great holiday. Have a fantastic new year, guys. Be safe. I will see you back again on my channel later. All right, take care, guys and girls. And as always, happy gaming. Yeah.